Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I got a quick tutorial for you guys, which is resolution scaling for Linux desktops or laptops, mainly laptops. So let's get started. <laughs> So let me give you a little bit of context. For some of you who are just starting to get into Linux and you're popping this thing into an older laptop with like a 1366 by 768 resolution or even smaller than that, or 10,000 by 600 or some, 1,000 by 600 or something like that, a lot of times you're gonna run into problems where you can't even hit the OK button underneath the start menu or something because the resolution won't allow for that. Or there are cases where you're like me, where you like to develop applications or web design and you want to see the site that you design on a different scale. This is where scaling applies. Now, this is different from DPI scaling. While DPI scaling increases the size of your font, your images, your icons and everything while keeping the resolution, this we're actually going to be, you could say, scaling or emulating a bigger emulation on your Linux display. So what I have here right now is the Lenovo Helix. It's a ThinkPad with an 11 inch screen and I mean it's great, it's portable and it's got a 1080 panel. Problem with this for me is while I'm sitting this close it's actually pretty good. The only problem with it is when I sit further away all the fonts become so small it's very hard to read. So I would actually scale down on this while if I wanted to display something using a 1080 panel and I want to see something in 4K, I could scale up. What we're going to do here is we're going to be using an application called XRANDR. And I think there's a GUI application for this called ARANDR. So you could use either. I decided to use the terminal one so I could actually pop it into my startup group. So every time I start up, it would just automatically scale it. So what you want to do right now is type in XRANDR and the two dashes and the word current. This will show you the panel that you are actually using. For laptop displays, it might be a different name. It could be EDP or LVSD or something like that. Or if you have it plugged up to a VGA or HDMI, it will show. Scroll all the way up to the top and you're gonna see the current screen that you're on, which is, it will say connected. If you're wondering why I'm using a camera to record my screen, it's because the scaling will screw up with my screen recording and I can't export this to an HDMI recorder, so we're gonna have to deal with this. So, an XNDR current, and I scrolled up, you could see that I am connected to EDP-1, all right? And in here, I'm gonna type in XRANDR dash dash output EDP EDP-1. Now no, it's going to change my main display. The next thing you want to do is dash dash scale and this is where you want to change what you want. Um, if you wanted to, if you have a 1080 panel and you want it to be 4K, you would do 2x2, two, two times 2, so it'll, it'll multiply the top resolution and the bottom resolution by 2. Then you, this is the most important part of this scaling which is panning. So you got to do panning dash dash panning and you have to put in the correct resolution or it's not going to scale correctly. Now to figure out what the correct resolution is, pull up a calculator. So here I have the command and I'm still waiting for my input. All you have to do is pull up a calculator and take your screen display that you're using right now. So I have a 1090. Multiply that by 2 and I'll actually spit out that number 3840. Then I'll take 1080 and multiply that by two, and you're gonna get the other resolution. And that's what we're gonna be putting into our display over here. So in the panning, we would do 3840X2160. And as soon as you hit enter, that's now a 4K display. This monitor has really good pixel density, so I could still read some of the words, but if you have like a lower quality panel, say cheaper laptops, when you do this, you might not be able to read the words. So you're going to have to find your sweet spot and I'll, I'll teach you how to do that in a second. So right now I have 4K just to prove that it kind of is, look how small that calculator. I could move over to Google and you see how small everything is. 
and say I'm gonna head over to YouTube look at that that's how small everything is and it just thinks that your screen is 4k now on the flip side uh, I want to scale it down you would do 0 0.75 or something like that and you would do the math the same way scroll back up to our previous command and I'm gonna delete all that and switch back to 1x1 just so I could go back to default so you see that I don't know if you can but yeah hit enter pops right back to default and because I didn't do the panning look I could scroll up and down on my because it still thinks it's a 4k canvas and you're on only displaying 1080 so to fix that you would actually have to add the word you know panning and Put in 1920x1080 and it'll fix the scaling back. If you wanted to scale down and make everything bigger because you got such a small screen here, I would do exactly the same command, but instead on scale, I would do 0.75x0.75. And then as far as the panning goes, we have to do the math again. So over here, I would do one nine two zero times zero point seven five one four four zero okay and then ten eighty times zero point seven five and eight ten so that's where I have to adjust that so I would change that over to one four four zero x eight one zero once I hit enter here we go, a bigger scale, everything's so much bigger. Like the you can tell from the calculator, it's actually being covered by the therm terminal. Now you're gonna have to play around with this and multiply it by 0 0.01 if you want to get accurate resolution. Now on my other displays, I might have to use 0 0.73 just to scale it down because the pixel density doesn't work with what I have right now. It could be blurry, it might not be blurry, I don't know. So every display is different. So sometimes when I'm playing with my old laptops, if I wanted to scale up the resolution, I would start off with where I kind of want to be. So if I have a 720 panel and I want to look at like a 1080, I would scale it up by 1.25 and it's near 1080, then go by 0 0.01 multiples, meaning once I get up to uh, uh, 1.25 and it kind of looks blurry, I would redo the panning and the resolution scale by 0 0.26, then 0 0.27. And I'll find the perfect sweet spot where it's not blurry and it looks semi-decent. So that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this little tutorial or this little hack, you could definitely, this is a hack. Um, let me know in the comments below. Again, this is not DPI scaling, so it's not the same. It doesn't look as good as DPI scaling, but this is a way to kind of make your panel bigger than what it really is. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.